Hi, my name is Nick. I'm on board my little Kareel 18 second wind. This is part four of this series of videos and this last one is July 2021. We're in the middle of our Sydney extra harsh COVID lockdown. They've just um, closed all the retail down. The day that they were about to make that announcement, I went and purchased my little brass monkey 15 litre electric fridge. Uh, very pleased with it. It fits really nicely in the boat and I'll cover all that in this video. Uh, I've had a look at the initial power consumption. It is winter time, so it is quite cold. It's 15 degrees during the day, about eight overnight. And it used, I'm sort of working out about 10 to 15 amps over a 24 hour period. My battery monitor is wired up to tell me how much power is coming into the system. Cause when I wired this all up, is when I did the solar panel and the um, outboard charging port because I've got a lighting coil on my outboard I wanted to know how much was coming into the system and I need to take this out and rewire it so it tells me how much now is going out of the system which I'll do over the weekend probably anyway I hope you enjoy the video um, I will do another one uh, down the track in summertime on the actual power consumption of the uh, little Lesky or little fridge freezer I've just bought a brass monkey a uh, little 15 litre fridge freezer unit uh, for the boat. And I now that I've got the big battery, uh, the whole reason of getting the big 100 ampere hour battery was so I could run one of these. I was originally gonna get about a 30 litre one because I can actually fit that. I can spin around here and part of the mess. Uh, I've got everything stored under at the moment. I can actually fit it in here, uh, a 30 litre one but I probably don't need something quite that sizable. So um, by going with a 15 litre one, I can actually fit it under the cockpit sole. Uh, it will slide in quite nicely. So it will fit in under there. This will move out. I've got to tidy up those wires. They've fallen down, so I've got to uh, re, uh, re screw those up. Uh, but I'll put a little rail on one side just to level it up and to hold it in place. And then it'll just slide in and out. The funny thing is, I've just shoved it on this bunk extension. I've got another one for here as well, so I can make a really big uh, double bed in here. But it actually fits in here really nicely. It's not a little bad spot for it. So that could also be a possible place that I keep it as well. Puts the weight a little bit further forward. Um, the uh, power connection is just going into a cigarette lighter at the moment. I have, with, when I wired up the boat, I did run a wire uh, from the battery down to here, uh, directly off the battery. And I'm gonna put an Anderson plug outlet uh, near the, um, the mains cutoff. And this I'll cut the cable and I'll put an Anderson plug into the cable. And I'll be able to just plug it uh, in that way, which will be a bit more of, a, of an efficient connection. So I'll do that in due course, but right now, I've plugged it in for the next 24 hours just to see what sort of power that it actually uses. The actual unit itself, if I open it up, you can get a different lid for, which is a high lid, so you can stack sort of extra high. Um, it's about another 50 bucks. I don't know if it's really worth it. Uh, in my case, I wouldn't probably be able to fit it under here if I put the higher lid on it. Also, the cool air is all down the bottom. So I can fit two full-size two-litre Coke bottles uh, to give you a bit of a reference. And I have about that much room on top of the bottles to store other stuff. So that's quite a bit of capacity. So when I wire this up, you either wire it up for power coming in or for power going out. So this is set up for power coming into it. So I'm gonna to need to take the panel off and change the, the wiring on it to see what sort of a draw uh, the fridge is doing. But currently, the battery is currently sitting at 95%, so it hasn't used very much power at all, given that it is also winter time and in summer, I'd imagine it would use a lot more, but that's so far quite encouraging. So that concludes my four part series. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, when I get some more accurate figures on my power usage on this little fridge uh, freezer, I'll post those probably over summer where it's more real 
uh, sort of uh, conditions for it. It's winter time at the moment, so anything will stay cold outside. Anyway, this little um, battery uh, monitor, I'll rewire uh, in due course, so it tells me how much power is going out, and I'll be able to give an accurate record of how much is actually uh, coming out of the system. So I hope you enjoyed the video, and thanks very much for watching.